But uh, we never had anything like replays because that is tough to set up. So I really appreciate that all the infrastructure is here in this room with us. Is this for real for real or is this like hand warmer? I don't no, know. this is for real. This, this is, for, is real. For, real, for real. For real. Okay. So we got Super Shocky going up against our boy Salted Bread. Oh, uh, okay. Super Shocky, the unfortunate. I think wanted a teaspoon set up there, but had the wrong piece for it. That is really going on borrowed time when you put those uh, S's like that. You are not in a good position right now. It is now. an overstack, and unfortunately, if the J and I came in the other oh order, oh my god, that would have been fine. Oh, he's, he's not gonna get out, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Had an opportunity. Okay. Interesting. Yep. Got a little. Uh, that's MS2 from uh, Salted Rail. Oh, he's going to convert to a. Uh, Interesting. Imperial Cross. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody go from MS2 to Imperial. That's cool. I think if you take garbage, it typically becomes like a not so great follow up. Uh, just because it moves your holes around in weird ways. Um, but. In that case, uh, he wasn't under any pressure, so no reason not to go for it. Yeah, I I don't know. I never, I never like found a good opportunity to use Imperial myself, but I'm probably just doing it wrong. <laughs> you know. Okay, I, I I brought up earlier, but like when when BBB was doing one, but typically you set them up because your T-spin pole is not quite aligned with your underlying garbage, like it's off by one column. Yeah. And then if you find the opportunity, you can use the Imperial Cross to like keep back to back while you move access to the hole into an adjacent column. Um, obviously there's other uses for it, but typically that's the you know the the best one. Oh we got the Mario Kart DI coming up. Oh yeah. Here. I feel like tell me not, Super Shocky is like playing Okay. Like super efficient, right? He's I mean he's certainly Kept the pressure on Salted. Oh my god. Salted, press the button twice, man. Press uh, it twice. Just twice. It's all you need. Playing on controller is better? Uh, I mean, people have different opinions about this. I think it's probably in the noise once you get to a particular level. Yeah. Once you get as good as these players, it don't matter. Um, I Most of the players I know prefer playing on keyboard. I can play on both controller and keyboard myself, but yeah. Yeah, I would say that, um, I mean, there's a number of very good players, especially from Japan, I think, who even oh, yeah. play games like Tetrio on controller. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, which, uh, yeah, it sounds like, oh man, like how do you press that many buttons with only two fingers? But like, they make it work, I don't know. So yeah. uh, I, I would say probably whatever way you feel is most comfortable, go for it. Do games like this have a buffer system? Uh, in I, what? I think tech uh, okay, so uh, this is this is me being a, a fighting game player. Uh, so, for example, say inputs uh, are recorded for uh, in, for like the last ten frames, right? So let's say like you did, uh, I don't know, uh, like a, a spin then drop or something, where like you. If you did it too quick where there isn't a buffer, uh, your your input would get eaten. Yeah, so well, the thing is, a lot of actions are frame one, I guess, the equivalent would be in yeah. this game. So, like, there isn't a ton of circumstance where, like, a buffer would matter. The okay. one difference, I think, is that, um, so if you'll notice, like, unlike other games like Tetrio, maybe, uh, their players actually have to wait a brief period in between each piece that they drop. Um, and that appearance delay can eat your inputs. Is there any like sort of like input queue where if you push two inputs at the same time, they come out in a particular order? Uh, in this game, I'm not actually sure how it works, but that like is... Like if you did spin and drop at the same on the same frame. Yeah, so actually in some variants of Tetris, uh, particularly in Tetris the Grandmaster, uh, there is a predefined order. It is well known and it is actually like used in order to enable a particular class of moves called synchros, uh, okay. which otherwise would be impossible to do uh, if you didn't, if that order was like field defined or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it works in this game, though. So okay, but I this, but this uh, is something that's not foreign to. It's not. Uh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And and, uh, and as far as things like again, like when you mentioned like oh, or what I was saying before about appearance delay potentially eating your 
uh, you know, rotations or whatever. Um, so there are games with systems around that. One of them in particular is IRS, which is initial rotation system. Mm -hmm. If you're holding a rotation button when the piece comes out, like actually, then that rotation is sort of pre-applied. Okay, um, yeah, that's that, uh, that. That's basically what I mean when right. I say buffer. So right. yeah. Well, you can hold that in. Well, in some games, for you can hold in that perpetuity. Across yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can do that in this game, uh, but that is also present in Touch the Grandmaster. It's present in Touch the Effect Connected. I don't think it's in this game. Um, I think players are just oh, at so this point good at timing their rotations so that they come out when they need to come out. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. PPT does not have initial rotation. Thank you, Correct. Jam, for checking my math. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so this is a game where your inputs can be eaten if you if you input quote unquote too quickly. Uh yes, in specific circumstances. Yes, in, yes. Okay. That would be a really specific circumstance though. Again, I think this is not something most people even think about. Um in TEC, I think that some of the there are some other uses of IRS that are not related to the like the buffering aspect. Like for example, if you're in a zone and you need to complete like the topmost line, you can use IRS to get the piece to come out in the orientation that you already need it to be in, uh, or just to like prevent it from topping you out, so to speak. In the mm -hmm. zone, like topping out is like not really a thing uh, unless you don't have any lines clear. But um, but yeah, so I, I would say it's it's. Use is a little bit different in most games anyway. Copy that. It's funny, Super Shocky was talking about just how difficult playing PPT is uh, because they're so used to using IRS in their gameplay in tech. Mm -hmm. So they had to, it was a big adjustment for them. Yeah. Oof, yeah, Celtic yeah, Red taking yeah. a fourth game. Yeah, Jam and Chat. That's a pretty good point. If you're doing like, you know, 20 lines of zone or whatever, it is likely you will need to do some nonsense with IRS to make it, make it work out. You got to finagle certain pieces into certain places to go certain ways. Certainly. Oh my God, Salted, do something. Yeah, this was just a, a big commitment in the opener. Uh, didn't really get much out of it, and Shockey's just, you know? Yeah, committed, committed is a good word. He was very much like, I have to execute this plan no matter what. He, he couldn't adjust quickly enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eloquently put, thank you. Yes. Color clear. Ooh. Not a, not efficient stacking on that one part, but he fixed it up. Yep. Now Salted's pretty clean. He's got the correct heights on both sides of the hole to now just uh, go to town with a 6 3 uh, LST looking like. Yeah? Not really LST, but you know. Yeah. Equivalent formation, I guess. Close enough to it. One of those stacks where you uh, you put the little notches every three rows and then you uh, fill in the rest. Yeah. I feel like Super Shocky is having a difficult time um, adjusting to the gameplay as well. I mean, uh, not I mean, uh, not like what I was talking about earlier, but like um, adjusting to what Salted is sending him. So, Salted, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, all right, we are Ren Gaming. Oh, this is actually Ooh. a pretty dirty combo. Oh, Ooh. boy. That is... Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my uh, goodness. Can we I, get a replay of that very quickly? Yeah, I can't count that high. Uh, so, would uh, I mean, I could play the replay now, but I assume uh, uh, yeah, the I beginning... We'll they, they start so fast. I'll put a pin in it for after the set is yeah. over, though. Sure. Keep that one in the tank, maybe. Yeah. Earns, yeah. Look, Ren Gaming is very good... Earned. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that one gif of um of uh, Donald Glover just saying like good. Yeah. <laughs> we love seeing salted bread suffer here at his home. 
PCO from Shaki. Can't go wrong with it. Yep, and he's got it. And he's got it. Salted blocks a lot of it. I think he did the uh, the praying hands opening that I don't remember the name of in English. Praying uh, hands. Uh, I think he was trying to figure out if that ice spin would work. I'm pretty sure there was no way. So I don't think so, no. I mean, he's still got garbage access for the most part. Oh, uh, what is this? Yeah, his garbage is not, is not too bad. Yeah. So this is actually not fatal. Uh, okay, setting up the uh, the prophecy as well. If there's one thing that Whoa. Salted Bread is good at doing, it's counting. Mm. So the number four. Love to see it. Yeah. No, he. It, I I noticed that that's a that's like something that he does usually. Like if there's something he has to adjust to, he's like, I can find a way to turn this into a Tetris, and then I'll figure out what I want to do afterwards with oh. the fancy shit. Love to float the TST. Good times. Okay. Are we gonna? No. Okay. Um. Yeah. And that time, I mean, when when Salted got going on that down stack, it looked like Shocky was already in a, uh, you know, pretty tight position. Uh, maybe a misdrop or something like that. Float. All right. Salted in great shape here. Yeah. Doesn't even matter. That he took a second. He did take a second. But I think that's given that gave Shocky enough time to send him. Oh my God! But that's very clean garbage. Yeah. Though. Ooh, wait! But Shocky's at the top of his board. Salted. What are you gonna do? He's gonna send two PSDs. Oh my God! He didn't even need to access that garbage in order to like nah. get back in him. That's wild. Nope. And there was a, there was a, another T after that, which would have cleaned up the. I mean, it would have broken back to back, but it would have opened that hole quite yeah. like, cleanly. So. At that point, Shocky was gonna eat another, you know, eight lines probably. Free. Yeah, that that was like a that was like that was fate. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! This is not a great miss draw from Salted. He's gonna have a little bit of a mess to clean up now. Oh, Shocky no. is Ren gaming. Why at the start they leave empty spaces? Not entirely sure what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for Shocky. Oh. Interesting, Salted. That's cool, but I don't think that's going to help you in this situation. Oh, Kaidon, but a little bit of a mistake from Shocky there is actually going to pose him about halfway up here. This could be the end of yeah, this round. It. it has to be. No, actually, hang on, hang on. Didn't what? really have enough to send much, but had enough to, to block everything. But so. look at his garbage, though. It's like, what's not he going to do? It's really not good. This yeah. Tetris might end it. We'll see. Okay, forced, oh, forced to cover combo. a hole. That's okay. It. That's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Even he knows. He's like, you got me. Really? They landed the handshake this time. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. That was a fun match. All yeah, right. It looks like we're going to check out the... Uh, the salted combo game over yeah, here. Look I at love this. that. Look at this. How many? How many? I the problem is I can't even see like what the actual combo counter is. Yeah. Um, but this was like what? Like it must have been like eleven or twelve. Something right? like that. That was a lot. Of, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah, that's that's all of our reaction. Like, all right, where did that come from? <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree, Shocky. Shocky proved himself to be a very expressive player as well. Oh, yeah. I'm the same way, usually. God, I love the salted Mario Kart gameplay. <laughs> yeah. Again, this this defensive holdout from Shocky at the end of that one, really, yep. really good effort. Unfortunately, Salta had just a, just a little too much in the chamber. We get the clap. We get the handshake. Yes. Oh yeah, I mean, a, a little, it. little, you know, almost, but they <laughs> little hairy on that entry landed. that time, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, fixed it up right good. All right, there's a little bit of turbulence when they were landing, but oh, yeah. that's okay. They still stuck the landing.